Hi guys, Azraeus here and welcome back to the Kingdom Call. This is a little bit of a discussion slash kind of update video I guess on Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. Uh, recently the Square Enix financial reports for the fiscal end year of April 2015 to March 2016 has been published and it just kind of goes over a couple of things like how much they've earned, they've earned 214 billion yen this year and they have made 19.8 billion yen in profits which is <laughs> stupid how much money these game companies make but that's not what you're interested in. Uh, the picture you're seeing on now is something that they put at the end of the financial report and it is detailing the games that are set to come out in 2016 and as you can see yes 2.8 is still expected to come out this year so this does kind of remove all of the tension there was many many fans including myself to a really small extent that thought oh 2.8 is going to get pushed back oh it's not going to come out this year it's going to get delayed but it's not it's still set for 2016 in Japan North America and Europe so that's great that's just a little bit of an update but I guess since it's still coming out this year it must be far enough in development that they're not going to release a broken game this year. I really, really hope they don't because if, as you know if you've been buying games for the PS4 or the Xbox One recently, games are releasing day one just broken. We saw the Battlefield 4 servers were absolutely broken at launch. Games just getting patches and updates up the ass just as the game goes through. Destiny is another example, The Division, Assassin's Creed Unity, all games that just release broken. So that is a concern for not only 2.8 but for Kingdom Hearts 3 as well. Hopefully the game doesn't release broken. And I don't think it will. Square Enix aren't really the type of company to release broken games at launch. But you never really know in this day and age. But yeah, that's just a little bit of an update. Kingdom Hearts 2.8 is still expected to come out in 2016 and we should be getting more news for that at E3. I'm going to actually mention before I end off this video that, and I apologise if I butcher this name, Hironori Okayama, the producer for Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key, did say in a recent interview with The Coalition, I think it was only like the last week or so this interview came out, that Kingdom Hearts 3 will be at E3. This is huge news. I'm going to possibly put out a video soon talking about what I expect and what I hope to be E3 for Kingdom Hearts 3. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. I'll have an update soon on the channel. Just a channel update for the month of May. And it, I mean, it's halfway through May. I really shouldn't. I'm going to actually start doing an update at the start of every month just to kind of tell you what's going to be happening with the channel and what I hope to do and what I expect to do. And just things that are impeding me and doing anything for the channel so keep a watch out for them but nevertheless if you guys like this video please leave a like comment your thoughts are you happy that Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be at E3 obviously you're going to be happy that it's at E3 but are you satisfied now that we know 2.8 is definitely coming out in 2016 or it's set to come out in 2016. Share this video amongst your friends and subscribe to join the Azure Army today. Thank you.